Hi, I'm Alex, a PJ Gold professional and top 50 golf coach. Now, this one small change is going to bring you big, 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 big results. And I know for a fact it's going to give you a great golf swing that's going to not last a week, not going to last a month. For me, it's going to give you some long lasting changes that will probably last forever. Okay, let's get into the video. So I'm going to do this drill with my driver, my 7.9 and my 9.9, key clubs to our game. And this is just a reminder that this channel is powered by you, the viewers, and we've had all these comments in here about tempo, timing, how do I get great ball striking? Well, here's how. Now, I want you to have the concept here of that I think a lot of us, when we get on the golf course, we want to bash that ball. And very often I see a lot of people almost starting down before they've even completed their backswing. So get to the point here and then the body's already starting to fire down. Now, of course, there are some benefits to that. It looks powerful, looks great, but there are a lot of minuses in the fact that we can't control this club face very well. So the three stages to this drill, and then we're gonna hit those shots away, is this, first stage. So it goes to face on perspective here. What you're gonna do is place your arms out in front of you, move your right arm top of the backswing. What I want you to do is get your left arm to tap your right, and then you can start down. I don't want it to be like this, okay? So i.e., don't start coming down the downswing before you've even completed your backswing. So just simply 10 reps. This is gonna get you a great feeling of a bit more turn, a little bit more coil, a little bit more of a feeling of what that full turn is. And that's full turn relative to you. Okay, so here you go. These are the reps. Just have a quick close look at this. So have a look at these slow mos here, right? You can see how I am completing that backswing. My right hand and left hand are touching and then I'm starting to uncoil down. It just gives you a great concept. Look at it from down the line, look at it from face on, and this is a really, really, really important phase to this. Okay, let's move on to the next. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I could really, really feel that coil on that. Now, if we look at all of us, right, and I'm gonna put myself in this category, we tend to sort of swing back the same speed and hit down the same speed. Compare that to the pros, we sort of have a two to one ratio. So we go back a little bit slower than we come through. So next stage now, whatever club you feel comfortable with, I'm gonna start with driver, and um, this is what I'm still gaming from the start of the year, which is nice. Address the tee peg, okay? You're gonna make a golf swing now, just at that tee peg. I want you to feel as though you make a back swing that takes one, two seconds, and then one second to hit through. That's that ratio, and just hit the tee peg. Whether it's with an iron, whether it's with a driver, go on, just hit that tee peg. You got that anticipation of the hit then, one, two, through. So you could clearly see how I gave myself chance to finish and complete that backswing. Tempo timing is one of the most important things of the golf swing. So come on, stick with me here. Let's go on to the next bit. So if we think how often we hit our nine iron, our seven iron, and our driver, probably our most used clubs in our bag. So I'm gonna start off with nine iron and just have a look at how the tempo between each club, okay? Just look at it, and I want you just to think about what changes here. So let's start with our nine iron. Again, in my head, I'm gonna go one, two, hit. Oh, one, two, hit. Wow. I just feel like I've got loads and loads of time and I'm not rushing on that. God, it's still going. Okay, that was my nine iron. Have a look at this, actually. And I find when I do this better, look how I find the center there, bit of grass on the face. That's what we're after. Smoother swings, better contact, longer hits. Now, as we go to the longer clubs, it might not always be perfect, right? We are human, we don't play on tour, but what I'm giving you here is your best chance of playing your best golf and getting some tempo, getting some timing and using these three stages is the way to go. Okay, seven iron now. This is probably my most used clubs, and I know that because uh, it's the one where the grip's worn the most. <laughs> okay, again, I'm gonna go one, two. I like saying it out loud. You might say it in your head. One, two. Peach again, absolute peach. So can you see that rhythm? Can you see that smoothness? There's no hit, there's no narrowness, there's width, there's smoothness, there's timing. Let's get on to driver now. Now really pay attention to this one, right? This is the one where we do get a little bit anxious at the best of times. We're scared of where it's gonna go, but we also wanna give it a big old bash. 
So again, we're going to stand on one, two, right hand claps left, then you can hit down. One, two. <laughs> Have you seen that draw? I've surprised myself. I need to take it to the course. I played the other day and I was far too rushing, much rushing with this. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I know this will really, really help you. And don't forget, if you want some daily tips, subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that thumbs up button too.